All right, let's take a look at this potential severe weather maker heading into our area tomorrow, and it looks like it'll come in two rounds. The first round late tomorrow afternoon and early evening on your Tuesday, and then we may see a little lull, and then there'll be a squall line that'll come in. That's going to be after 3 a.m. and into the early morning hours on your Wednesday. And then we get into clearing skies, but as far as the overall damage, we uh, percentage of risk, wind damage is the primary threat. Also, we do have that low tornado and hail risk, 5% probability of a tornado within 25 miles of a given point. So level two, slight risk for severe weather. This happens, especially between Thanksgiving and Christmas. We're in that severe weather season, our fall severe weather season, sometimes called our secondary severe weather season, but it can be just as prominent as the spring season. And we have that level two risk. There is a level four moderate risk over northern Mississippi. That's going to be to our north and west. We're in the yellow here, meaning level two slight risk, and there will be a greater risk, especially north of I-10 up into the inland spots with that first round that comes in tomorrow evening. Let's time it out with your Fox 10 future cast and the first part of the day just showers around and we get after lunchtime and things start to develop. Storms start to get more cellular in nature and they'll be rolling in here, especially north of Interstate 10. Look at that could be really nasty with some of the cells around five o'clock tomorrow evening. This is a little different future cast run. It's not as good on a small scale, but it does a little better in the longer range, which we're right on the edge of that with this forecast period. And you can see the potential of severe storms and even some cells around Mobile and Pensacola tomorrow evening. That'll lift to the north. Then the squall line comes in. This is showing around three or four a.m. Here comes that squall line. It could be a broken squall line at first lining up and getting more organized as it comes through in the early morning hours on our Wednesday. We do expect that by lunchtime we could even have sunshine back out on Wednesday. So tomorrow morning you'll just have mainly cloudy skies in the morning starting out into the upper 50s in the metro areas, a little cooler than that in the inland spots. And then we get into our forecast tomorrow afternoon for the kids headed to school. Watch out for some evening storms tomorrow. It could be an issue for pickup time tomorrow or that school bus that ride home. Showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures will be mild. It'll be windy tomorrow afternoon. Our rain chances at 80%, but primarily late in the day tomorrow and then again in the morning on your Wednesday. We do clear out for the second part of the week. Tracking ahead into the month of December. How about a December warm spell by the weekend? We could have daytime highs in the middle 70s, Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday. And after the storms tomorrow evening and again on Wednesday morning, we get a break. Looks like the long range forecast dries out by the weekend. Lanisa.